It's time for Washington Fish Quest. This episode's target species, Jack Chinook Salmon. Hey Washington Fish Questers, Blake here. Well, it's fall. That means there's salmon in the streams and pumpkin spice everywhere else. I look forward to the season all year round. Uh, I'm lucky enough, uh, you know, all of us salmon anglers tend to have a home stream, usually closest to our house. I'm lucky that uh, the Nisqually has been mine for about the last 10 years. And it, uh, so I was just about to chop up some eggs here. Eh? I'll be drift fishing these eggs under a bobber. I catch jacks to adults uh, by a ratio of about three to one. And in case you're wondering what a jack is, especially if you're not from Washington State, uh, Washington defines a coho jack as a coho under 20 inches, a king jack 24 inches and under. A jack is a salmon that came back a year early to spawn, so it's not quite as big as the quote unquote adult fish, although it's, it's there to party. All right, my eggs are all cut up and I gotta get going. I'll probably have about an hour to fish before I have to go punch the clock at work. The squally's about 20 minutes away from me, so for me that's jumping distance, so I'm just gonna, oh, oof, that was close, I don't want to jump with scissors, it's very dangerous. Alright. Alright, so here I am, I'm on the Nisqually River. This is actually the Riverbend Campground. You gotta pay 10 bucks a day to fish there, or it's, I think it's 50 bucks for a month pass. I'm doing the pay to fish because I don't do many river fish quests you may have noticed, and that's because I'm scared of people stealing my spots. So if you wanna pay money to come fish, you're great, but I do have some other spots in the Nisqually, but I ain't about to throw them up on the interwebs. So at any rate, uh, what I'm gonna be using is, uh, I just obviously got my barbless hook. I got a egg, Egg knot, just a, a regular. I can't get it to slip. Well, it is an egg knot, trust me. Otherwise, the eggs will fall off. Then I got a little uh, split shot weight there. I got eight pound test leader. I put up to three or four of those guys on. I start with one. I usually go in kind of more neandering waters, but uh, just to keep the eggs down near the bottom. And I really like these thill bobbers. Uh, a friend of mine who's a really good steelhead fisherman turned me on to them. They slide up and down, so uh, they're not snap or you don't put a line in them. There's just this piece of rubber that you uh, you just loop the line into, and it doesn't pinch it too bad. Then you just put the rubber under it, and you can slide it up and down, but it takes a little bit of force, so it stays pretty well. It'll come down when you're reeling it in, but during the drift, it stays where it should. Uh, there are different kinds of thill bobber, and I do have trouble finding these kinds. When I do, I stock up. So I've only got about an hour to fish. I'm about half an hour in right now. Uh, so far, eggs don't seem to be doing it. There are days when you can just light it up with eggs. Uh, I really haven't gotten a lot of action. Well, that was a bump. There's a fish. Uh, the one for the smoker for sure it's getting dark but it's not there's no white on the fins or anything like that I hit the eggs pretty good it uh, gummed them at first so good to know that the eggs eggs worked well this fish I'd estimated about 22 inches I'll go get an actual measurement on it but that is technically a jack all right great way to start the morning regardless I gotta shoot off to work now measured about 22 inches as I thought uh, those of you at home with more distinguished taste might say, Blake, what are you doing? That's one dark fish to smoke, but hey, I don't got distinguishing taste. I'll smoke this guy all day. So I will uh, see you next time on Washington Fish Quest. Have a good one.